hello and welcome in today's video we bring to you a shipping container design project designed using five shipping containers stay tuned to find out more about this three bedroom modern shipping container home design Welcome back. If you like our content and want to learn more about shipping container living, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button below. If you have a container project or a container rental you would like us to feature on our channel, kindly get in touch by posting in the comment section below. Or you can contact us on our website sheltermode.com. Without further ado, let's get started. On the design concept, we used five shipping containers. Two pairs of 40 foot shipping containers are set apart six meters wide to create a space enough to accommodate a two car garage. Midway, a 20-foot shipping container is placed across the two pairs of containers to create a connector between the two pairs. What are the salient features we've managed to accommodate in this modern container house design? One pair of containers accommodates the living spaces of the house and the second pair accommodates the private part of the house which contains the bedroom spaces. From the entrance porch, the main entrance door ushers you into a spacious entrance lobby from which you can access a private home office or study room on your left, followed by a sizable clock room to serve your guests. Right in front is an open plan living space which accommodates a generous L-shaped kitchen, a sizable dining table that can accommodate up to six, and on the farthest end of the living room is a cozy lounge space with enough sofa seats to make you feel comfortable. In between the kitchen and the clock room, is a sizable laundry space. Connecting the living module and the bedrooms module is a 20 foot container that accommodates an open space that can be used as a family room, a children's playroom, or even a small gallery for the family. The bedroom wing accommodates three bedrooms, two bedrooms sharing a common bathroom and a master ensuite with adequate wardrobe space. The master bedroom is facing the front of the house and it has got two Juliet balconies accommodated in the original container cargo doors which have been welded in an open position to create an exciting outdoor living space. The front space in between the two containers has been closed off to create a spacious garage that can accommodate two cars. On the rear part of the house, there is an outdoor living space which has direct access to the family room and to the living room through the lounge space. This particular house design is big enough for an average size family and you can add other container modules to accommodate additional spaces as you deem fit. What we considered in this particular design is to create open plan living spaces which allowed us to accommodate a spacious living space in almost one half of the two shipping containers. 
And since most of the internal walls have been removed to create an open plan living space, you are encouraged to use additional steel reinforcement to take care of the removed corrugated walls to maintain the structural integrity of your shipping containers. You also need to use big glazed openings as much as possible to allow in adequate daylighting and maximum close ventilation, especially if you are building in the tropical climate. Use light colored wall finishes to help you make the spaces look brighter and spacious to get rid of the constricting feel that comes with the limited width of shipping containers. The negative spaces in between the two pairs of shipping containers can be utilized for family outdoor spaces or in this particular case we closed off one end to accommodate a spacious two-car garage. You also need to explore different exterior finishes depending on your preference and even cost constraints. In this particular case, we have one pair covered in wood or timber cladding and the other pair is left with the original corrugated container walls exposed to just bring out the industrial vibe of the design. We also provided additional corrugated slanting roofs on top of the two containers to just give that feel of conventional roofing, helping us to reduce that bland look of shipping container houses. You can use any other roof you find appropriate, mostly dictated by cost and also weather constraints. Remember to also insulate your shipping container house depending on the climate where you intend to build. If you are building in the temperate or cold regions, you need to use an insulation material that has got good R values and good moisture barrier properties. In this instance, you are encouraged to use something like spray foam insulation. If you are living in the tropics, go for an insulation material that will allow you to keep heat away from your house as much as possible since that is the biggest constraint when it comes to insulation of shipping containers in the tropical climate. We hope you like what you're seeing. This is a simple and straightforward design that can be adopted by anyone who wants to explore building with shipping containers. If you like what you are seeing and you want to explore more of custom container house designs, you are encouraged to visit our website sheltermode.com for more designs and more information on how you can get yourself a copy of blueprints to execute your own shipping container project. If you have any questions or you need further clarifications, you can send us an email through info at sheltermode.com or you can drop us a message on our social media pages. Just go to Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or even Pinterest and search for the word shelter mode and should be able to get in touch with us without any challenge. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. You are encouraged to subscribe to our YouTube channel for such videos and more amazing weekly videos on shipping container living. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.